uh, Tasha and I, we were watching Mortal Kombat 1. We were watching like a Mortal Kombat 1 tournament. And one of the guys got beat. And before he did a fatality on him, he like crouched multiple times. And so while we were watching the tournament and we start watching these other videos, she was like, why did they keep crouching before they uh, finish them? Or what, when they win, why do they keep crouching? And I was like, oh, they're teabagging. And she was like, teabagging? She was like, what's that? And I was like, well, <laughs> y'all know it's ridiculous when you, you have to explain what teabagging is to somebody who's not really familiar with it or what they do in uh, competitive games. And so when I was explaining to her what teabagging was, and I was like, well, it's like simulating that you're like <laughs> rubbing your nuts in the opponent's face. She was like, are you serious? She was like, how did, how did that come about? Where did that come from? And when she asked me that, I was like, I was stumped. Because I was sitting here thinking to myself, like out of all the games that I played and all the games where I've like teabagged people, I couldn't remember where it started. I, it just, it didn't like come in my brain. And so I typed it in on Google. I said, when did teabagging start? Or when did it become a thing? And I think Google said in Halo. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, that's what it was. I remember when you would play Halo when you would die, you would look up in the air and your opponent would walk above you and then they would like crouch multiple times <laughs> over your head. And it took me back. That's where I, I learned how to do it. That's when I started doing it. So, uh, it's Fortnite wasn't the first ones to do it, but it definitely, it had to be Halo because Halo was one of the first games where people started playing first person shooters competitively and was Halo online I think Halo was online and people were because I, I know that like my friends that would do it in the like we would have all the Xboxes connected in a in a living room or something and we would play like that but I can't remember if people were teabagging in uh, Quake uh, for anybody that played Quake 2 so yeah, it just kind of took me back. <laughs> but yeah, I'm planning to do a video and uh, we're gonna explore the world of teabagging and where it came from and what it evolved into because teabagging was a thing for first person shooter games. But now when you play Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, anything, when you play anything competitively, somehow, some way, somebody's gonna start teabagging their opponent. And I think it's hilarious. He said, P.O., please do something. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> that is too funny. That is too funny how you could actually play a fighting game like this and then do a combo and then in the middle of a combo sneak in a teabag. That is too wild. <laughs> he said, P.O., please do something. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> teabag it. Oh, oh and he's killing Obviously, we have somebody figured oh, out like that. Man. Like so I can imagine if you were playing like in a high-end tournament like this one right here, and somebody does something like that, like you have to be all the way tilted. Because that's how I am. Like once I get tilted, I can't play anymore because I can't focus. But yeah, I would love to explore uh, teabagging and the origins of it.